Hey, beautiful Capricorn family. Welcome to your tarot reading for October 2024. We're going to get a life path reading with the star tarot, and then we'll get clarifiers from the wild reflections deck, and then we'll pull an oracle card from the keepers of the light, and then we'll get you some runes. For those who are new here, hello, I am Teresa, and welcome to my cozy corner of the internet. Here I use tarot and intuition to serve and support you on your journey to your highest and most blessed timeline. I also do this by making mala beads, also known as prayer beads or meditation beads. You can check them out at malaology.com. Now back to your reading. So what is the energy of Capricorn in October? What is the Capricorn family reflecting back to you, Spirit? Thank you. I have death. Well, that's heavy duty, Capricorn. Big changes here. Big changes. What is Capricorn's path? Thank you, Spirit. High Priestess. Let's get you a better look at that. Okay. Two of Pentacles. Temperance. And Ten of Wands. Well, there is such a theme running through every sign of the Zodiac this month. It's wild. So many endings and beginnings. So many changes happening. Like big changes, big transformation. Oh my goodness. All right. So where does Capricorn's path lead? You have Ace of Wands. Exciting new beginning. The world. Huge endings and beginnings. And strength. Okay, and again, we will get clarifiers for each of these, but let's just look at them. So you have death, which is uh, change and transformation, right? You have your phoenix here, rising from the ashes. You have Nuit, the goddess of the cosmos, like overseeing this process. And the butterfly of transmutation and transformation, like new you, new new life energy, right? In the void, what will it be when you come out the other side? You know, who will you be when you come through this portal, right? So there is a, there, what I'm feeling right now without even getting the um, clarifiers. And again, we'll see what they say, but it feels like the question is, who will you be when you come through this portal? And you know, like that's still, that's still being decided. Like you're still working that out, you know, in some way. The High Priestess, this is where your path begins. This is finding your way with intuition, following your emotional guidance system, allowing yourself to stay connected to source, to your higher self, you know, to your God's guides and guards. You're in the middle of the spider's web, which is really Indra's web. So, you know, every other soul in the cosmos somehow affecting you, you know, like, like you're feeling things, you know. And I just, again, I, I see her butterfly here on her chest. You know, I'm getting a lot of butterfly energy here. So change, right? Change. But this is a calm energy. The high priestess is where the magician is the divine masculine making things happen, which is kind of a Capricorn energy. The high priestess is the divine feminine energy of allowing things to unfold, you know, of receiving um, the the results of work that she's put out, basically, right? And then and the two of pentacles is an energy of well, it's it's a dupe. It's it's a there's a lot going on here. It's 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 as if you're working through two two different issues or working on two different things, you know, um, needing to balance some things in 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 your life or finding a way to balance things in your life or learning to prioritize many things in 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 your life. So this is a a shuffling and juggling and reorganizing, restructuring, scheduling, you know, making schedules and systems that will work for you. Temperance, making schedules and systems that will work will work for you. Temperance is Finding a way, and, and this is not the technical meaning of temperance. This is just what I'm getting for you. Finding a way to make your life work. Finding a way to fit in things that you want to fit in. You know, what do I have to change about me? Who do I have to become in order for, 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 for this to happen? What do I have to change or shift in my life in order to, 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 to make that happen? You know, just kind of working through things. It's a, it's a process. And it's, it's not a fast and easy process either. So there is a need for co-creation with the universe. You know, the universe does its part in the temperance process. 
you are blending two different elements to make a third element. So, you know, there's th this, this again is not an overnight kind of energy. This is the long game and the universe has to sprinkle its little magic dust in there to, um, to help these elements to blend, you know, so, you know, some, sometimes you just have to wait for, um, divine timing to complete the, complete the process basically. And then 10 of wands is completing um, a hardship. You know, this is toil. This is the end of, of a long, hard journey or a long, hard road or, um, a, a job, a job that took a lot out of you. You know, this is carrying your cross for a lot of people. This is bearing a heavy, heavy load that, um, that you pay, like pay, I just, I'm getting a different message for you for all these cards, right? I feel like you've paid your price. You've paid the price. You've paid the piper. <laughs> and so now you, you, you know, you are allowed to put the load down, you know, like you paid your dues that, that, that's what I was getting. You paid your dues, right? So, um, so there's like an ascension of energy an ascension of leveling up, you know, because you've crossed that barrier, you've crossed a boundary that took a lot of work, a lot of toil, a lot of patience. You know, take it as it resonates. I'm just getting this here. And the Ace of Wands is very, very exciting new beginning. Like all of this, this path of perseverance, of, you know, kind of staying connected to yourself, staying true to yourself and allowing spirit to guide you on your path. Um, figuring out a way to juggle things or rearrange things so that you can change or change, create systems in, 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 in your life that will allow you to maybe work less, you know, a, a, allow you to be more productive with greater ease. You know, I'm just, yeah, it's, it's very, very specific message there, but that's just what I'm getting for some of you. All right. And this makes things very, very exciting moving forward. So now um, this is like a, a inspiration, like, oh yes, I've got it. I figured something out, right? I know how to move forward and it really blasts open the path. It really propels you into the next step. You know, you're like, oh, I finally know what it is, or I finally figured this out. It's like Edison. I have successfully, I haven't failed I have successfully found 10,000 ways that don't work, right? When, 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 when he was experimenting to figure out how to make a light bulb, right? And now I've made that light bulb, bam, right? Bam. So it's, it's a breakthrough. It's huge. It's a huge breakthrough for you, Capricorn. And this lends to, or leads to an ending and a beginning. You know, the world is completion. It's, I have done it my gosh. And now I get to do something new. <laughs> I've done it. I've, I've accomplished this. And so therefore, um, now I'm capable of doing something new. Now I have the tools to do something new. Now I am freed to do something new, or now I know what I will do next. Yeah. And you know, there's a, there, I, I see for a lot of you, a period, and this is definitely not unique to Capricorn. I'm getting this for so many people. There are a lot of endings and beginnings, right? And there's a lot of gestation period, right? And with those eggs there, they tell me this. They tell me the gestation period is, is starting again, or a new one is starting, or the gestation period isn't over. Um, there is a period of um, waiting, refining, you know, working, refining the temperance, right? And working through something before these eggs will hatch into these turtles, you know? So um, basically just hold the line, keep the faith, stay connected um, to your God's guides and guards, to your higher self, to your truth, you know? Make sure to stay um, in your truth and in your integrity in this process. And again, this is not the meaning of the world card. I am specifically just getting this for you Capricorn like I'm getting a lot of real specific messages for you like I feel I can't wait to get the clarifiers for these cards but I feel like um, you are about to start co-creating with the universe something that you've wanted to create for a really long time something that you've been excited about and and then maybe 
um, not excited about, excited about, not, not excited about, you know, up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, so, you know, and then the strength card, this is, um, finding finally that tempered energy that the temperance card leads to, right? So the lion is like your fire, right? And, and this you could say is, 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 is your water, right? And you are now able to, um, combine your, 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 your fire, which is your passion and your work and, and, and your water energy, which is your emotion, your feelings, your emotional guidance system, your connected, your, your, your spiritual connection to, to, to source, right? Your vibration, you know, you're, you're holding the snake with ease and the snake is extremely sensitive to vibrations, right? So you're centered and you're keeping a, a, a centered high vib vibration, a high frequency at the end like you've learned you've learned with temperance how to be who you need to be right all right so let's get some clarifiers for capricorn please clarify the death card who is capricorn who is this death card what is happening with the death card thank you six of cups high priestess is clarified with the queen of pentacles There you go. Okay. Two of Pentacles is clarified by Four of Wands. Temperance, clarified by Queen of Cups. Ten of Wands, clarified by Five of Swords. Ace of Wands, clarified by King of Wands. That's good. The World is clarified by Three of Cups. Very good. And strength, clarified by Ace of Cups. Okay. So Six of Cups is really just an energy of um, re resolving the past with the present or the present with the future. It is time and understanding how time works through you and, and, and on you. You know, this card doesn't necessarily show the, the, the deeper meaning of the Six of Cups, but the Six of Cups is, 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 is healing your inner child. It's accepting all parts of you. It's allowing you to be you on a new level. You know, there's a healing of the inner child with the death card. So many of you were working through your issues um, that may be stemmed from childhood or even further past ancestral trauma you know, DNA level um, injury, you know. So, of course, it took a while. Of course, temperance was there, you know. Um, but the death card isn't done yet. You know, there there is still a process. With the death card comes new life, new birth, right? So you're still kind of in the process of of renewal and and, and, and becoming that butterfly. You know, you're in that stage of determining who you will be on the other side of the void right so this the the six of cups energy is just saying that um healing is taking place to allow this to happen okay the high priestess clarified with the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles is such a creative energy she she loves you know this is like a one of the most loving and nurturing mother as possible, right? The queen the, or, or, or the high priestess is so not nurturing. You know, a lot of people look at the priestess and say that she is cold and unfeeling, but the truth is that she is just connected. She's just silent, sitting in the void, very much like the death card, you know, allowing the universe to, to, to say their words. I feel like the universe is working through you. This creative energy is the universe just... Um, working through the energy of Capricorn, like you, you, you have this like blank slate energy. I feel, I really feel this blank slate energy with the death card, right? And the high priestess is reflecting that back to the universe. Here is the blank page. Please write on it. Yeah. And spirit is, is, I feel like you are a conduit for spirit. Like you're giving messages for spirit on spirit's behalf, just opening up to messages from the universe and allowing them to be delivered through you, through your art, through your creation, you are showing um, what it is that spirit wants to, to, to transmit through you. Yeah. And in many ways, spirit is doing the same for you, you know, 
she's she's creating this pentacle with her paintbrush and you're holding this pentacle here there's just a strong energy of co-creation and cooperation between you and spirit you know and she's also surrounded by these stars and here you are surrounded by these the, the these points on, on on the web you know this there's you're so connected and that is what's empowering this path moving forward two of pentacles that that need for balance and that need for um, for a lot of you for juggling, you know, the four of wands. This is taking time to enjoy yourself, taking time to celebrate, you know, taking time to look back and see how far you've come for a lot of you, you know, um, and and daring to stop for a minute and allowing yourself to enjoy it. You know, Capricorn, take it how it resonates. You know, some of you may not have an issue with that, but I do feel like some of you, that is a breakthrough in and of itself, you know, a, giving yourself permission to um, stop at the finish line and have a victory dance, you know. So I, I definitely get that for, for some of you. I do feel like this is a lot um, for a lot of us, work-life balance, right? And the Four of Wands is that energy of reaching a goal and then celebrating that 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 um that landmark or, or 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 that point of accomplishment before you move forward right so there's not a lot of movement here you know i i'm just not seeing a lot of movement in october i'm seeing processing temperance with queen of cups the queen of cups is the ultimate feeler you know she feels everything she's so connected much like the high priestess you know but her connections are very empathic very emotional very warm, right? And you have the temperance here. You're temperancing heat with water. You're, 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 you're temperancing warmth with emotion, you know, warm emotion here. You know, I feel like that that's what the outcome is for a lot of you is just um, allowing yourself to feel and to love on, on, a, on a higher level, more, more love, you know, opening to love, a lot of you opening to love and giving love. You know, recognizing I am loved, loving, and lovable, and the universe wants me to be happy. And also receiving those messages. She's holding the shell, the conch shell that 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 reverberates with the vibe, with the ohm of the universe, right? So she's receiving um, wisdom and guidance from source here. And I feel like this is freeing you. The temperance is freeing you ultimately you know the queen of cups is not an energy of freedom but i see i see in this imagery this is this the, to me this feels very free it feels very um alive you know i feel like in some way it's it's going to bring you to life yeah and the ten of wands with the five of swords yeah you know i did get a really really heavy heavy feeling here in the five of swords is is changing your mind right the fives is where we change and the swords is our thoughts, our words, how we communicate, how we think, right? And, and, and the fives is where we get lost and we have to make readjustments. Fives require an adjustment, right? So with the 10 of wands, that really, really heavy, heavy energy, I feel like you're looking back. At the, at, the, at the nine wands before this and going, man, I, I did that the hard way. Like that could have taken a lot less time. Other people do this with much more ease and get much better results. You know, so you're reflecting on, you know, how I can do better next time. Yeah. And and and, and you are definitely changing your mind about something there. And the Ace of Wands with the King of Wands, you know, that breakthrough, the King of Wands is like the ultimate energy of of, of that great push. You know, he's very, very powerful. And he's also very charismatic, very attractive. Not just attractive as people want to follow him. So you will have more followers, more of an audience, more customers, more recognition, more, you know, that, that kind of thing. But also attractive in the law of attraction. What he puts out, the universe sends to him, right? Because he is mastering his magic. So there's less work involved. The king of wands learns how to work less. That's what makes him king, right? Um he his his labor his blood and sweat sweat and tears goes into his magic wand where he directs the energies of the universe from a position of comfort and you know 
um, enjoyment, security, you know, just all that. And he's got this lamp here. It always reminds me of the hermit lamp. There's a great deal of wisdom that you've gleaned. You know, this speaks to me of wisdom and having, um, this is a backpack. I'm not sure if you can see that there, but, and, and having been around, having learned a lot, having uh, gained a lot of experience from lots of different places. He's got the map behind him, right? Lots of different um, uh, things that you've tried. I keep thinking trial and error. That's just what keeps coming to me. You know, you've, you've, you've found a thousand ways that don't work and that's what catapults you into your future because bam, you know, you are the master of your destiny. You are the master of whatever this is. Okay. And then the world clarified by three of cups is the three of cups is the fates. These are the norns. These, the, these, these are the fates that weave the destiny of humanity. Usually the three of cups are holding cups up to the sky and dancing in these long gowns. And you can see that they are the fates. And, um, and what this says to me is there is a destined change, destiny. Destiny is calling. Destiny is turning the wheel, ending something so that something new can start, ending many things perhaps so, so that many new things can start, you know, like your life is about to change irrevocably. And it's beautiful. You have the three of cups here and the four of wands here, and this is just a real celebratory energy. So there will be a celebration. There will be at least one major celebration, maybe multiple. You know, you will be celebrating something. And it, it feels good. It feels good. Like because you've earned it, you've really, really worked for something or you've pushed through something, you've healed something, some limiting belief or some limiting structure in your life is finally being removed so that you can move forward. And it is like a rubber band just catapult you, catapulting you into your future. And you're so over the moon with it, you know, it's just really, really happy feelings. And then strength clarified with the Ace of Cups, you know, that, 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 that strength energy and what I see, this is really interesting as within, so without, as above, so below that eight, um, that infinity symbol really says that. Yeah. Um, if she's resonating with peace and love on the inside, peace and love will be reflected on the outside. Peace and love will be, um, will be sent back to her from outward, you know, and the Ace of Cups here, you've got this here, right? The Ace of Cups is a new start in the area of love. It's um, a new way of believing. Um, you know, I, I now understand that I am worthy of love. I now understand that the universe loves me and wants me to be loved. You know, I now understand something new about something that I truly um, am learning that I do love, you know, um, so many things, right? Um, but ultimately, this is the universe saying, you have got a hold of, you have got a handle of your emotional guidance system. You are learning to follow what makes you feel good. And you are learning that you are worthy of feeling good, that you deserve to feel good. So you follow those things that, that make you happy and that puts you at ease more um, than you used to, right? So you're opening more and more to love. You're opening more and more to that good feeling, right? And your pearl is opening for you. You know, it's really, really hard to open a clam. The clam is just opening for you with greater ease because of this change that, 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 that you've gone through, this change that opens you to love, right? The, because of the vibration that you've learned to carry. So, you know, this, the, this is personal change and transmutation. You know, the butterfly really is like the biggest, um, if, 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 if I could just give your reading one word, it would be butterfly. You are the butterfly. You know, um, I feel like you've perhaps worked really hard and long to become the butterfly. You know, a, a, a lot of you, and I always get that with the 10 of wands, but all the other cards bear that out as well. Like it hasn't been easy for you to achieve this, you know, but I feel like it's because timing is divine and, and the universe was co-creating with you. And, and that's, that's how it happened. That's how it unfolded so that it could be perfect. Right. And your message from the keepers of the light is the Holy Spirit. Expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. Only love is real. 
Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. I love that. And that's really, really true. You know, that reminds me of A Course in Miracles. There is um, nothing real can be threatened. Nothing unreal exists. Herein lies the peace of God. You know, so if something in your life feels like it can be threatened, then it's not real, right? So, you know, I'm not saying that you feel threatened or anything like that. I'm just saying that um, spirit is the most real thing and miracles are the most possible thing there is in, 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 in your life at this time, okay? So you have, for your runes, you have... Um, let's see, what is, the, oh yeah, not these, not these is uh, victory, opportunity, defense. It's also future, right? It could, it could be the future. So it's, 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 it's a defensive energy and it's also a victorious energy against whatever you may be defending from. Um, take it as it resonates. And then you have Awas. This is uh, an energy of transition, this is um, dynamic energy of um, inner, you know what? This is the death card, <laughs> basically, right? Change and transformation. Yeah. And then Ingus. This is beautiful. This is progression, fertility, um, ancestral healing, right? This is, um, this is the portal through which babies are born and the portal through which we find our greatest pleasure. This is the portal through which we become who we truly are. You know, this is the portal through which you will find your next um, level of being, right? So it's an opportunity. It's spirit opening the door for you, you know, or opening the window for you. Um, so, you know, d depending on where you are. So this is a really, really beautiful reading Capricorn. Hang in there. I do feel like there is going to be great, great relief coming for you in October. That's going to lead to huge release and, 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 and up, up, upgrading. Yeah. And us, us, ascension essentially. Right. And, and, and joy, lots and lots of celebration. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. And I'll see you next time. Peace.